In this video, I'll be showing you how to build the best websites in Lovable without code. So I'll be building websites of this kind of level because I've been designing for the past 10 years. I've been doing this as my main job. So basically UI design, web design, mobile app design. So I know a few things about that. And the websites that you're looking for were built by the same designers as me. And if you want to find and build something that looks like this, or like this, or like this, and then you're in the right place. Let's build it something like that together. Uh, there are new update in Lovable that has different models, and I will be trying each of them and see which one does the first draft the best, and I'll be then finalizing the website using that model. So let's start with uh, Mtropics model and uh, send a prompt and uh, see the result. Um, the website that I'm building is just for some uh, medical website so it should i think be modern which should be it has some black sections some white sections and stuff like that so yeah let's just wait and see the first result so this is the first result that i've got from entropics model uh definitely is there room for improvement oh yeah nav bar is missing uh, a few of the sections are missing as well uh, not specifically sections but yeah i think that definitely can be improved so let's try another option and let's see what does Lovable creates us with open AI's um, API. Yeah, let's do the same prompt and just send it. This is what we've got with Open's AI API, and it looks it definitely misses some sections. So I'm not gonna stay long on that, and let's try the final API. Not the final. We have Lovables there, but let's try the Google ones and send it over. And here we have the result from Google. Let's see what it does. So this is what we've got from Google, Gemini, probably. Um, doesn't really work properly. But other than that, I think that it's looked the best in terms of it has the text here. It has the good headline. It changes the text, even though it's not like the best, the best, but it at least did it correctly. So let's look at this again. Yeah. So this is by far the most better, I think, except this section, which is also has animation. But yeah, let's now, now try the Lovables paid version. These are the free ones, but let's now try the paid version and see if it's paid or why is it paid? Yeah. And here we have ready result from Lovable, taking a few seconds to load up. And yeah, let's preview it and see how it looks here. So we have the headline, we have nice description. Looking much more cleaner than uh, the previous two option has now bar. Since Lovable 1, I will next step show you how to build actually beautiful websites of this level in Lovable. So I just spent a few minutes building this out website with a few prompts. I am able to create this beautiful result. I'll show you how to do that from scratch because again, you don't have to do anything in Figma to build, spend hours on building something from scratch because if you don't use these AI tools, you will be left behind and your marketing will suck because you can't do it on time. You can't ship on time. So yeah, I will show you exactly how to build beautiful marketing marketing websites for your SaaS startups or for your AI tech startups and in no time that look great and convert great as well because we'll be using uh, inspiration so as I'm doing right now as I'm looking for a great site that I will use as inspiration for my website um, because yeah Lovable works great with some screenshots of references that you want to do so let's find a few options um, yeah I like something like this in more dark colors maybe something more colorful so I found a website that I like. I think this looks pretty cool. So we can use it as a reference. Let's just bring it over to Figma. I will work a little bit a little bit with it before um, it working with Lovable just to make sure that all the visual elements are the ones that I want. So I bring it to Framer uh, to Figma with a plugin called HTML to Figma. Now here I have the ability to just drag this thing over to Figma and start working with it, start adjusting some things and uh, yeah, making sure that everything looks as good as I want. 
So the main thing working in with Lovable is that you don't want to give it references with this. Like you don't really want to just take a screenshot of this and send it to Lovable and ask it to create something that looks great because it will be overcomplicated and there is too much details to focus on. So I like to work in stages. So first we create the hero section, then we create the next section, uh, then we can create um, all of the other section, then we can add images and stuff like that. So yeah, let me just try to make a duplicate of this page here. By the way, if you want to create beautiful websites and here is a section using AI just prompts for tech and AI startups, I'm working on a platform that will allow you to do that just by typing a prompt. There is just only waitlist for now and the people who sign up to the waitlist will get access to try the app for free. So go ahead and leave your email and I'll get notified you as soon as it's out. Now let's get back to our get rid of everything that I don't really need. So for now, I'm just going to get rid of all of these sections except the hero section. And now I can start working with the hero section. So as you can see, not really all of the element were, um, not all of the element were uh, transferred to Figma. That's okay because we can just copy them. But for now, I'm just going to get rid of this as well. And I'm also going to um, make this uh, just of a flat color. Again, this is just to simplify the visuals before sending them to Lovable. So it kind of gets a clearer pictures and clearer understanding of what it needs to do. Uh, we can keep that there. I'm also going to remove this logo element here as well, just to make sure that there is nothing really complicated for a Lovable that it is as simple as it is. The first step would be actually to just to bring the layout of the website that you really like and you want to uh, create something similar. So let's see if there is something on the left side. Not really. Once I have it here, let's say introduce, introducing Fin AI, something like this, and get rid of this as well. So now we can just make sure that it's in the one line, make sure that it's in the center. Uh, so it's six, yeah, it's in the center. So here we have the hero section. I also can bring other sections. So let's just um, copy this section. And let's make this the same color. Instead of this, we can just place like this image. And yeah, so now once we have these two sections, I think this is too pretty much enough before sending to Lovable. I can just uh, dub, right click on it and copy as PNG and now I can send it to Lovable. We're going to go to lovable.dev. I'm going to say uh, create, create two sections following exact this example. Uh, simple, minimalistic, use a lot of white space, same as in in the image, so hero can be 100% the age. So these are just, I'm um, coming up with the prompt as I go. It's not really necessary to type things. I can also just give it a styles. Uh, so you can just copy it like this font, the font uh, headline and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna click on this dev icon here and I can see the styles that I can actually copy. So what I'm looking for this is the text styles hero text headline style. I can just paste it in here. Uh, make sure that uh, simply and automate. Let's just remove this thing. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's just send it and see the first result that it creates. So this is the first result that is created. Obviously we can specify now some details, add colors and stuff like that. Let's start from the top and what are the differences between our designs? So first we have islands navigation. So I'm just gonna say that nav bar should be centered, aligned and be in Iceland navigation style. And I'm just gonna copy this color. So we can just again, copy the style straight from here. So we have this um, Gishin style, style, and we can just place it in there. And then we can say that it should have this um, 
text or not a text, but what it is like a background. So we're going to say a header. Also add a header here section background with a headings of so we're going to say 36 pixels 36 pixels from sides it should it should have rounded corners we're going to say the corners are it's mixed so 35 35 pixels bottom and zero top the color of the uh, background should be gradient and now I can just copy the gradient from here so I'm just going to select the code and then can I just copy the gradient from here uh, let me see so yeah, so we have the gradient here. Let's just copy this. Oh yeah, so we already have that thing described. Okay, so now we have that. And uh, yeah, let's see what it does. The background of the whole body page should be just dark. And let's just copy this blue color that we have here. So I can just copy it and paste. And let's see what it does. And here what it created. Yeah, it looks much more closer. Now let's just um, specify. Let's preview in the full screen. Yeah, it looks something that I like the, our design. So now let's work on the second section as well. It would be pretty simple. Do the same style, I guess, for the second section. Do the same style for the second section for the background, but the gradient should go now from top to bottom. And for the image, use this image. And now let's just support this image. And uh, for and instead of image place holder use this image and i'll just upload this image yeah so it listened to me very well and now we have these two sections now let's add these images as we have in figma into this page so i'm going to add these images very simply i'm just going to um, go to the website let me just open this website and i'll show you the easiest way to actually add them without having to go through a lot of uh, um, prompts and spend a lot of credits. So there's a very simple way to do that. I'm just going to copy all of them to Figma. Let me just make sure that they are positioned the same way. So I'm just going to make a screenshot of this. And I'm going to export it as an PNG altogether. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so the quality is better when, once I export it. So now I can export, export as PNG. Let's go to lovable and now I can just say add this image to the hero section. Do not replace the gradient, just add it as an abs absolute positioned element on the hero section. Uh, I'm thinking if he's going to make it fixed, so do not make it sticky or fixed when scrolling and yes yeah, so I'll just upload this image file here select this thing and just see what it does from the first prompt and yeah lovable just added that perfectly as I needed and here we have perfectly beautiful hero section that I designed in less than 10 minutes and this way you can create the other section as well you can combine other different websites that you like I just showed you on a specific example let me know if you'd like to get more videos like this and uh, thank you for watching.